Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at uh, Universal Audio's Luna for Windows. Now, Luna for Windows has been released for some time now and still in beta mode. And since the release, I think they only had about two updates, which fixed few minor things um, as far as on my system. Now, I know a lot of people, uh, I've seen a few videos, I should say, a lot of people had issues running Luna on Windows, crashing, not running, or taking forever to open up. I have not experienced any of that, uh, even on my system that is uh, quite an old system. My laptop is about, I don't know, seven, eight years old. So it's running iCore 7 Intel with um, Radeon graphics. Nothing too fancy, it's an HP laptop. And I have not had any issues as far as that is concerned. But I think uh, if uh, Universal Audio need to progress, they really need to start updating. And one of the uh, first things I would recommend for Universal Audio is it's nice to have a feedback option where you can submit a feedback, right? Whether if it's a bug or feature request or a feedback and send it to them but you don't get any reply. We're unable to reply, but all submissions are reviewed. I mean, what's the point? It uh, has to be both ways. They have to get at least automated response saying that, yep, we received your response and we will look into it. And if it's something that we like to consider, it's a bug, something we'll fix, we will let you know when it's fixed or when a new feature has been added. You know, but you don't get anything. Now, I've submitted about four or five feedbacks to what I have discovered while testing Luna beta version. But I've got no way of knowing whether my efforts of writing and submitting has been reviewed or looked, looked after. So that is something Universal Audio needs to look at. If you want people to better test your software, Yes, you are giving it for free, but people are still spending time testing your software and you are providing a report feedback option, which is fantastic. But you got to let the people know that you received it, that you're going to look into it. You know, that's one thing you got to fix it. So otherwise, at the moment, I'm not going to submit any more feedback because I don't know if it's been looked, looked after or not. Anyway, so that's one thing. And here I have my second issue with Luna. When I go to my settings and I go to my hardware, uh, initially, the uh, first release of the beta, I couldn't even select any of the drivers. But here now, after two updates, I can select my ASIO driver, which is my Behringer FCA 1616 connected. Great. I can also select any of my other ASIO drivers for my hardware and I can run it. And if I click show ASI control panel, it does show and the device connected my inputs, you know, eight analog and eight added inputs plus the MIDI. And then I have the outputs and, you know, I can select everything. 48 kilohertz is what's running and my sample rate. I can change it and that reflects in Luna, no problem. So that's really great. Of course, the other option is you have just Apollo, but I don't have Apollo, but it does work. And if I go to my IO settings, I can actually see all of my 16 inputs. That's eight analog, eight uh, ADAT, and all of my 16 outputs, analog uh, and ADAT. Fantastic. So no problems there, uh, except Initially, obviously, this didn't show. It wouldn't show any of my inputs. But now, after a uh, second update, they're all here and fantastic. Options, I'm not going to worry about. There's nothing there. Now, MIDI here, it says MIDI clock synchronization. So, MIDI clock output. Here is something I'm not sure of what is happening. So, is this MIDI notes or, or only control codes are being sent. There's not much information about it here. And it's pretty much useless. I haven't been able to connect my MIDI controller keyboard and play any MIDI notes yet, but I will keep working on it. 
And controllers. Here are our controllers. Again, MIDI for surface control. Um, none of my MIDI surface controls actually worked, including my Tascam Model 12. No matter which setting I had, Mackie or Huey, it just wouldn't properly work. It was just all over the place. It will move the faders, it will move some of the panning, but it's just all, of, all over the place. Excuse me, my throat is drying up. So that is something that needs to be fixed. So where do you select your MIDI input and output for your VST instrument? Because this, at the moment, it only says MIDI clock output. So how about receiving? Where do you set which MIDI controller you want to use? Because I do have multiple MIDI controllers that, um, that are connected through USB. And in any other DAW, I can select which MIDI keyboard I want to use. Whether I want to use my um, Behringer Motor 61, I can select that in another, in another DAW. Whether I want to use my Syncopad to, to play drums or whatever. You know, you, there's no option to select here. So uh, I don't know how to select it. So that is something that needs to be worked out. Maybe uh, I haven't worked it out yet, but there are no information on it at the moment. So those are the main things as far as hardware connectivity is concerned. You don't have much control here in Windows. And next is one other major I have come across with Luna. And that is, let me load a project, is the main output. So here I have a project loaded, right? And let's have a look at the um, tracks, small tracks, right? Here is my main output over here. Actually, let me drag that to the other end. I like this on this side. All the way to the end. Yep, there we go. Now, if we go down to the output, as you can see, for each of the channels, you can select where you want them to go out, which normally you would want them out to go into the main, and this is the main here. Okay, that's where they are connecting. But you cannot select the output of the main for Windows. Again, I should stress this is for Windows. I'm running Windows 10, but Windows 11 is the same thing. You can't select where the main stereo output goes to. Now, remember my audio interface, as I showed, it has eight pairs of outputs. So four pairs of analog output and another four through my ADAT. Let's ignore the ADAT at the moment, just the four analog outputs. So if I play now, you will, I've got the, my audio interface in the camera, you can see. Here are my actually outputs right there. So LEDs will start flashing when I play the audio. And you're going to be able to hear it as well. I'm just going to turn the volume down a little bit so you can hear me better. So I'm just going to play. And that goes out to channel 1 and 2. At the moment, I do have a cable from the back of the unit. This cable is here. That's connected to my secondary audio interface. That what you are hearing uh, at the moment. So that is all fine. Okay, so that's output one and two but you have no way of selecting if you want that to go out to three or four five or six or seven and eight so you basically have no control or selection option for your main output to select which output they go to you are stuck with outputs one and two and this is the first daw i have come across that doesn't allow you to select your main output as a default output. And, and I have had experience with many DAWs along for the many years that I've been using and recording. So if we go into, let's say, any of our channels, and we can click on the main, we can see, we can select which output they go to and where they go. And buses or main or output, but you've got no way of selecting the main output to send it different output. I can certainly send, let's say, my main vocal into an actual physical output, as you can see right here, that to go into three and four, five, six, or seven and eight. I can select each channel to go somewhere else, but not the main. 
that is one of the main thing in software wise and app wise needs to be uh, fixed now in any other many other DAWs like Persona Studio One or Cubase it not only allows you to select your main output it also allows you to select your monitor output to go out differently so you could have let's say your main output going to one set of speakers and you could have your monitor output in this case the one we see on on the right hand side to go to another set of outputs like a control room output main outputs different and that is possible in many other DAWs but not the beta version of Luna. That is something has to be fixed. And uh, later on in this video, I will show you how to get around that and be able to send the output to a different pair of outputs rather than being stuck on output one and two. And I should also just uh, on a side note mention that this has nothing to do with your Windows output selection. So your Windows audio can be any audio you want to select but depending on which hardware audio interface you've selected the ASIO driver it will select the line output 1 and 2 for the main output so how do we go about changing the main channels output from the default 1 and 2 to any of other ones well let me show you it's not that hard it's quite simple so let's go to track and say new track and here we're going to select bus, the stereo bus. Let's call this, uh, I like to call it mix bus. We don't need any of the uh, summing tape console options. If you have those, sure, you can add them. I'm just leaving leave it as is. Okay, so now we have a mix bus. I'm just going to drag this, oop, not that one. This one, bring it just before that one. And... Of course, we want this now because it's a bus, mix bus here. Let's stop going. We can select, let's say, three and four. So now our mix bus is going out to line output three and four on our audio interface. And the next, what we want to do is select the first channel and select the last channel including our reverb effect and then on the main let's select that to go into mix bus no why doesn't it i thought i selected all of them see that's another thing here we go like i gotta come back even though i select the first one and that one all three looks like selected i'm gonna come here and select mix bus but only that one changes so <laughs> and like you got to move the mouse from here all the way back to here why doesn't it pull down list of all what i can see at the uh, routing output here appear here so i can just click and select um yeah there you go so now if you've got the 24 64 or 128 channels um to be able to do this, you gotta go back and forward and back and forward. My wrist is already uh, in pain, All right? Moving the mouse. Surely there is another way, but probably there is. You probably have to group all the channels together by going into um, edit. No, where is it? Track grouping, selection grouping, and then you'll be able to do that. Probably. Let's try that. I'm gonna go and select all of that and then come up here say selection grouping I think that grouped it and now I can select main output yep all change and then I can select yeah so there's multiple steps to do a simple thing I mean you've already selected it why do you need to go up here and do a selection grouping <sighs> beats me so now that we've got uh, all of our channels going to the mix bus and the mix bus, which is this one here, is going out to line three and four. Let's uh, have a look and see if my LED three and four output will start flashing when I press play. Of course, we're not going to be able to hear it because they're on a different output. But yes, I can certainly see outputs three and four now flashing 
and that's where the output is as well. Okay, and now I can use again the same mix bus and select outputs one and two and press play. And then they go move to outputs one and two. I mean, that's not really hard. Why I couldn't do that on my main? If I can do it on a bus and I can do it on any other channel, send any channel to any output, why can't I select the main? Universal audio. I mean, what are you thinking? Why are you making things so complicated? If you want people to use your software, right, you got to make it easy for the end user. You got to have some of the basic options of selecting the audio inputs and audio outputs, right? Don't get me wrong. I really like and enjoy the look and feel of things but there are things that can be improved. Stop adding multiple clips. Clicking here, clicking there just to do a simple task needs to be easy, all right? Like selecting here, I should be able to have a pull down list rather than closing and opening the routing output to select where it wants to go, right? Just make it appear here, simple. Otherwise, I'm sure it will improve and expand upon and yeah, one last note, once people give feedback, make sure you let them know so that their time is not wasted. Let people know that you received it. Simple. I mean, we are in the age of communication. Don't let tell them that, oh, we're not able to reply. It doesn't have to be personal reply. It can be automatic. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I know it was a lengthy one, but I thought I make this video because I have no idea if Universal Audio will ever watch this or do anything with this video, but at least you are aware of the, some of the limitations if you are trying out Luna on Windows, the beta version. Now you know how you can change your main output to any output that you want, especially if you are using um, a mixer audio interface like the Tascam Model 12, 16, 24, or any other similar uh, mixes and you want your main output to go to a different channel other than one and two. If this video was helpful, make sure you give me the like. And if you like videos like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below if you have any questions regarding what I just explained. Uh, I'm not an expert on Luna yet. I will try to answer your questions as much as I can. Till next time, as always, Thanks for watching and have a great time making music and I'll catch you in the next one. In the orb, a face of light Smiling down, beaming through Clouds of misty memories